I don't know why you're all standing in front of me. <laughs> the sides, good, be strong. Good. And here's the key coaching point now. I want to teach you how to use your body to protect the ball. To get it to Vinny for the goal. Yes. It's American. Guys, everyone look at the screen. I'm going to put this on YouTube. So guys, welcome to the YouTube channel. I'm here with the ballers from California. I don't know why you're all standing in front of me. Come at the back of me, Stoneman, you know what I mean? Guys, today, so I've got the legends here. Today, we're going to work on two things. I want to teach you how to use your body to protect the ball. So I'm going to work on like a little drill in here, how you can protect the ball from defenders. And there's a little bit of a technique to that. And then we're literally just going to go into a small side of game to finish. So you're going to be with me for 40 minutes and then you'll rotate with Jules and Shane, okay? Jules is doing a 2v2 tournament, Shane's doing passing combinations into a small side of game as well. So lots of games today, but first and foremost, this part, which is going to go on YouTube, is within these four boxes. So I have 14 in this group, right? Right, Stoneman, I'll go against you to start off with. Staying in your box, you guys are in a three, okay? You're in a two. We are going to work on protecting the ball. And there's going to be two different variations that we're going to do. Stoneman, the first one is, you're the defender and the attacker. And I've just got to simply keep it away from you. So try and get it. Good, try and get it. Good. If you manage to get it, Stonesy, you become the attacker. I become the defender. If you accidentally dribble it out, so you've gone out your box, I get the ball now. You become the defender. I become the attacker. You got that? Yes, but if he does it more than two, three times, switch it over. Okay, it's, this is, it's not a comp, it is a competition, but it's more about individual training, okay? I just want to see how you go, and we'll go from there. Let's go, Zef. Like it. Good. Good. Go on, Sophia, can you go all around? Can you be aggressive? Go around, swoop it, swoop it. Good, Lizef, love that. Love that. Go on, Sophia. Bang. Strong. Good, just about kept it in. Keep going, you two, good battle. Good battle. There's going to be balls going everywhere. Good battle, try and stay inside. Yes, good, be strong, that's gone out. So that's your ball now, Michaela. Good. Strong now, go, strong, strong, strong. Strong now. Yes, yeah, strong, strong. Good. Well done. And rest. Some good stuff. It's tough work on the legs, this one. Guys, my first question, so it's a simple drill, it's a simple drill. My first question is, do you need to be big and strong to be able to protect the ball? You don't, but it does help, okay? So if you're a bit like Lukaku, even though his first touch is terrible, you can hold the ball up pretty well because he's strong, right? So when you get to like 15, 16, 17, you want to start building strength in your legs to be able to protect the ball. Correct me if I'm wrong, but how many young players protect the ball, come in here Sophia, and they panic in these situations and they just do this and they just kick it against the player. I see it all the time, okay? So in here what I'm going to try and do is teach you to have a bit of composure and I'm going to show you the right technique, okay? So we're going to go back in. Lizeth, you can come up against me now. So first things first, if my feet are together and I'm upright, give me a big nudge. Look how easy it is for her to knock me off the ball, right? So what I'm going to do is create a wider stance. And here's the key coaching point now. Get lower and get the elbow up. Try now. See that? How horrible is that? So I'm not going to go around elbowing players because that's a straight red card. All right? Even if I go the other way, I could still be in this position. And if I'm upright, give me a big nudge. I still think you can knock me off the ball. But when I get lower, try now. Yeah, good. What If you go this way, Liz, you go this way, I'm going to roll and go this way. Okay? So that key coaching point of getting low 
and creating a bigger distance between player and ball will make you keep the ball and hold it for longer. Okay? The second thing I want to tell you, just two points. Can I teach you to be aggressive? No, I can't. I can't just say, here you go, be aggressive. What does that come from? Who does it come from, me or you? It comes from yourself. So aggressive play and playing nice and aggressive is something that I can't teach you. The only thing I can do to try and help you is think of something that makes you angry and really gets you annoyed. That's how you have to play in these type of situations. Because if you're a soft player, you're going to get pushed off the ball easy every single time. Do you understand that? So in here, you've got to find some sort of aggress aggression yourself to protect the ball. All right? With those coaching points, let's see if we can protect it a little bit better. Back in. Let's go. Let's go. You ready? Three, two, one. Good. Lucky JP, rotate. Get the arm up, Liz F. Try and get that elbow up. Get that elbow up, good. Come on, Sophia. Go around the side, try the sides. Good, be strong, go on, be strong. Good, you two. Yes, there we go, you can have it now, Sophia. You protect. Let's go, guys, let's go. The Stoneman and the Dominator, good. So what are you leaving there with that one? What? Yeah, so you, if your open legs are gonna stick through, you've gotta create a bigger distance. Try again, try again. There we go, there we go, there we go. You still got there, but you can move the ball too. You can move the ball too. Bang, elbow up, good, good, good. Now you've got to get out of a sticky that's gone out. Rotate, Josh's ball. Let's have a look over here. Yes, Eddie. Let's go, Mezzet, strong now. Good. Similar with you, Eddie. Similar with you over there is, nothing wrong with it, but you're, you're sort of backing up so they can stick their legs through yours. Create a bigger distance and get a lot, little bit lower. So go again. Stay there. Get yourself in between. Lift this up. Lift that up. Go wider with this. Wider with this. So you want to move the ball, right? Wider with this. Lower, lower. Get this up. Don't let him get in between you. Ready? Three, two, one. Play. Strong. Yeah. Yeah, I'm lucky. Again, again, again. Go play. Strong. Good. Nice. Well take. Good measure. Strong. Strong. Good. Good battle, you two. Well done. Now your body in. Now your body in. Rest. I actually want to use you two as an example. Guys, who's the best player in the world ever? Who's the greatest player ever? Miles off it. It's messy, guys. It's messy. Okay. Listen, I want to talk about that. I want to talk about that. Guys, if you think Ronaldo's better than Messi, you're miles off it. Okay? You're miles off it. Listen. How tall is Messi? Seven. So I just want to give you a little tip, right? I'm looking at these two, Edward and the Meza, and I'm saying right now, scientifically, you're stronger than him. Nothing you can do about that right now. But when you get a little bit older, you might get it, right? But when you think you're in a battle that you can't win, you've got to avoid those battles in a game. So if you're a player that gets brushed off the ball quite easy, you need to be smarter in the way you move. I was one of them. I've never been a strong player. I've never been a strong player. There's always players stronger than me. So when I played in midfield, I used to avoid physical battles. Why? Because it wasn't one of my strengths. But if I ever got into a physical battle, I still tried to make sure that my technique was good to give myself the best chance. Okay, why do you think footballers' legs are so defined and big? Yeah, so when they get into these positions in a game, they can hold defenders off. So the next progression that we're going to do is going to suit you a little bit more. Okay, so what it's going to be, we have, how many do we have in here? Five? So Meza go on the end. You go, see the two yellow cones? You can work up and down there. Vinny, go on the white line, up and down. I'll go against JP. You two step out. So the next drill we're going to do is I've got to try and get it, yes, James, from one side to the other to get a point. Once it goes to you, I've got to try and get it from there now to here 
to get another point. So we can use play, we can use what we've just maybe learned by getting our body in, or now we can try and avoid that. Yes, with clever movement. Come on, let's go, JP, me and you. Yes, I'm here, yes, yes, here. Good, 1v1. Bang, there's, bang. Yes, I'm in here, yes, play. Yes, in there, you can stay on this line, Vinny. So, Vinny, you've only, you can only stay on that line. Yes, play, yes. Oh, no, yes, get there, Vinny. Oh, great skill. Yes, play, play. Come on, get tired, JP. Tired of you. Oh, so what does this all come about now? Movement, but if we get into a physical battle, we can still use what I've just taught you there. Set that up, it'll be one and one, two in the middle. You guys will have three on the outside. So you have one on that line, one on that line, one on that line, two in the middle. So you can use that one as a bouncer. If the ball goes out, spare ones are here. Play. Love it, JP. Can you get it to Vinny for the goal? Yes. Good, good dominator. Tighten our body in, body in, body in. Good boy. Good boy, love that. Don't chase, Lizeth. Never chase. Never chase. Yes. Great ball, you. Dominator's on fire. Luki, you've got to mark him. You've got to mark him. Love that. Play. Good. Yeah, good. Yes, 1 0. Love it. Tight stuff here. Tight. Yeah, you've got it, Lizeth. Get it there, Luki. Luki, you're the one that plays it in. Ready, Josh? Who's playing? Who's the attacker? Go, play. Good. Okay, play. Good. Yeah, it's a lucky play here. Don't chase. Play here, yes, JP. Play. Yes, JP. Don't mind that play. Your ball, go. Keep it simple on the outside. Ah, you keep giving it away. Play, JP. Don't give it away. Tire, tire, tire. Good, get tired to Edward. Ah, try and keep that ball. Try and always go on the inside. Keep playing. You got it, Sophie. You got it. Ah, take care of that pass, Stonesy. Oh, tough work. Rotate. Who plays a big part in this drill? Yeah. So the outside players. If I'm doing really well in here, I don't want you to give the ball away. Okay? The other thing that I'm noticing. A lot of young players do as well. So many of you are just running towards the ball. Okay, so if I'm against the Dominator and I'm here, is it quite easy for you now? Yeah. Yeah, because everything's in front of you. What if I come over here? Where should you, where should you actually defend though? You want to defend in front of me? Where, where should defend? There we go. So now I've got a lot more space to move into. If you want to defend there, no problem. I'm just going to move off your shoulder. You're not going to be able to see me. Yeah, or I could even just do a little body faint, go there and there. It's going to be so hard for you to see me. So if you're a defender, guys, you should be ball side. Okay? If he's tight, can I still receive it? Of course. Using the technique, yeah, go. That I've just showed you. Bang. How can I now go forward? To get it to there, give me some options. I can spin, yeah, there's one. What else? Body feint, yes, yeah, skills. You can lay it back and open up. Good, and lay it back, open up, bang. You should have all these different types in the locker, but the only thing I'm gonna say is you can't go backwards twice, because what will happen if you do that in a game? If me and you would just keep going back and forth and back and forth, what's gonna happen? The other, two, the other team are gonna regroup and your chance is gone. So I would say only try and do one more and try and get on that angle. What am I doing my body shape too? Open as much as possible if you can, all right? Let's go again. Last couple, and we're going to a game. Yes, Luki. Good. Get in front of him then. Yes, Luki. That's gone. Your ball dominator. Oh, Sophia's got it. Yes, pull it, play. Yeah, good. Try and get it in the middle, get it in the middle. Play it in, don't play on the outside guys, get it in, good. Move against Sven, good, good. Go to the end guy, end guy for the goal. Good, SJP, try and play in the middle as, as much as possible. Play to the middle guy as much as possible. Just play, give it him, give it him. Good, body in, that's why you gotta be stronger, yeah? Play Dominator. Good. 
Good. Great touch. Good. Oh my God, Dominator, beautiful. Each time, your energy is fantastic, but you're so close. Okay? So Josh, your ball. Always go to the Good. Same with you, Josh. Go away. Go away. And then... Yes, ball there. Oh, ball's gone. Jogging. Can you give me the some coaching points there that you learn with use of body first? Well, when you're on the sideline, instead of facing this way, you want to face open so you can take your touch out as well. Good. Just go back to the first drill we did, using your body, before we go to that one. Stay low. What else? Get your arm up. Get your arm up. Good, Lizette. You want to see it if it's just between the and the ball. That's key. That's key, because some of you were doing everything right, okay? You were getting your arm up, you were in a low position, but the distance wasn't further enough away, so they can still throw their leg around and still nick it. So that the distance is a key one as well, okay? Let's say you've got a player on you in a game, tight, and you still want to receive it. What can we not afford to do? No. Nope. So you know the ball's coming, you know you're going to receive it, and someone's really tight on you. Don't what? Don't what? Never panic. Just be in control of what you're doing. Sometimes we have to be in control of the defender, and then I receive the ball at the same time. Use your hands, guys. If you watch some of the top pros, they'll like grab a shirt, just so they always know where the defender is, okay? Last couple of tips because we're going to move on, but if you're ever tight, you can sometimes give them a nudge and now you've got what? Space. Bit of space. And that's what the second part you can do as well. Okay? And then we go into, Michaela, the, when you're open, body shape. Good. And Dominator, what were you doing in there that was really good? Clever one-touch passes, so he was boom, he was checking his shoulder and then playing like a little first-time pass around the corner. And Lukey, it's that's so hard to defend, isn't it? Because you think he's always going to control it, but a little first-time pass is super good because we can go forward straight away. Must be the hair dominating, you know what I mean? Guys, that's tough and it's hot. Gonna get a drink and we're just gonna go into a game, guys. Let's go, come on. Guys, and that's it. Cheeky little um, drill on just using your body. A lot of basic coaching points in my eyes, but a lot of young players um, struggle with using their body, getting their elbow up, receiving balls in a game with back to goal. Don't panic. You know, you can still be a skinny, small player and still have good technique. Uh, but yeah, that, they, they, they did that really well. Now we're going to go into a game and see if they can use it a little bit in a game as well. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, guys. Oh, no, no, listen, you don't have to hit the sub button. But if you already are subscribed, hit the notification bell so you can see our videos. Peace out.